Dr. Payam! Hello everyone and welcome to Dr. Payam Show. My name is Payam and today we're going to cover a theorem that's very important in calculus and analysis, namely the squeeze theorem. And it's used a lot when you want to calculate limits that are difficult to find. So, what does the squeeze theorem say? So, theorem. By the way, it's the mathematical version of a hog, you know, because <laughs> you will be hogging some functions. It says that if f of x is less than or equal to g of x, is less than or equal to h of x, in other words, if some function g is squeezed between, between two functions f and h, and moreover, you know that the limit as x goes to a of the smaller function equals to limit as x goes to a of the bigger function, it's called as L, then, in fact, you can deduce that g has to have the same limit as well. So a, g of x equals to L as well. Hey, that rhymes! Poetry time. <laughs> okay. So just to illustrate with the picture, suppose you have some weird function g that oscillates like widely. However, if it squeezes, so this is a function g, if it squeezes between f and h, h and f, and f, and we know that f and h have the same limit, so here's zero, as x goes to a, then in fact it forces or squeezes g to have the same limit as well. So, always think of it whenever you squeeze oranges or whatever you like to squeeze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so, and by the way, I always use this theorem to catch my bunny. Like, this is the big hand and my small hand. And the bunny tries to jump away, but I'll be able to squeeze it in the limit. Anyway. <laughs> and in fact, let's apply the squeeze theorem to the following example. Let's calculate limit x goes to 0 of x squared e of sine of 1 over x. Okay. And it's a very sine of 1 over x, in case you don't know. It's a very crazy function that oscillates like crazy at 0. However, even though this function oscillates like crazy, you can still calculate this limit because, in fact, we will show that this function is squeezed between two easier functions with the same limit as x goes to 0. So how do we do this? Well, notice, notice that sine of anything is always between minus 1 and 1. So I think there was an XKCD video that says what is sine of love. Well, I don't know what sine of love is, but one thing I do know is that it's between minus 1 and 1. So sine of anything is between minus 1 and 1. So in particular, sine of 1 of x is between minus 1 and 1. So love is 1, 1 over x, OK? And then how do we get our function here? First, you exponentiate it. So e of sine of 1 over x is between e of 1 and e of minus 1. And then lastly, all you have to do is multiply both sides by x squared. So let me squat a bit. So x squared, e of sine of 1 over x, is between x squared times e and x squared e of minus 1. <laughs> Bunny hop. Okay. <laughs> so in other words, this function is squeezed between this function and this function. But what else do we know? Well, we know that those two functions have uh, a common limit. But limit x goes to uh, 0 of x squared e of minus 1. That's 0. And limit x goes to 0 of x squared e equals to 0. And therefore, by the squeeze theorem, 
because this function is squeezed between the two other ones, we can conclude that the middle limit is also zero. Hence, limit x goes to zero of x squared e of sine of 1 over x equals to zero by squeeze theorem. And then we're done, and we can go home happy. But in other words, you know, always use the squeeze theorem, especially when you see a sine of 1 over x, or anything that oscillates widely and it's hard to control. All right, thank you very much. Thank you.